breathe. Forgive yourself for literally everything. And let's get home. Hello, hello, lovers and friends. Today, I wanted to discuss something that I was talking about with my sister earlier. Uh, We're both artists. And shout out to Debbie. Shout out to Riches. Riches on Prime. Riches uh, on ITV. Anyway, shameless plug for my sister. I was talking to her earlier and we were just discussing the benefits of having alone time. And it was really cool because we both carved out a schedule for ourselves. Um, You know, being full-time artists, you really have to be in charge of your own scheduling. And we both came to the conclusion that it is absolutely essential for somebody, especially somebody with purpose, um, to carve out alone time. Just time where you can be away from your phone or be away from your email or just be with yourself and search yourself. You know, in a moment, I'm going to discuss the most consistent um, benefits of alone time that I actually believe because there are many. And, you know, I'm not going to just share something because it's out there. I'm going to share things that I believe to be true um, or things that have personally worked for me. So anyway, we were discussing alone time and You know, something that we could both agree with is in that time where you're away from chatter and you're away from noise and you are able to sit with yourself and ask yourself questions and also kind of sift through your experiences in life and what have you loved and what did you not love so much and why didn't you particularly enjoy that experience? You know, all those questions that you have the space to answer in alone time for me is paramount to the very reason why you should carve out alone time for yourself, time to sit with yourself, time to be with yourself. And, you know, so many great things can come from alone time, especially if you are a productive person. Like I said, if you're a very productive person or you, you're a person with uh, with a very, very specific purpose. And, you know, you know, those people that have kind of just seen a purpose for their life from a very early age, nothing wrong with you if you haven't, but just, just saying that it, it really increases your self-awareness and you're able to, um, dig within yourself and find out what the next steps are. You know, without noise, without listening to other people's stories and following other people's timelines. So these are the most consistent benefits of having alone time. Number one is self-reflection. I fully believe that if you're able to reflect and kind of look yourself in the mirror, literally and figuratively, and You know, just notice yourself. Taking time to notice notice yourself will ensure that you notice a lot of things. Um, The second thing that I believe is a consistent benefit of alone time is rejuvenation. I don't know about you, but, (laughs) and and I was talking to Esther about this. Um, Sometimes I get decision fatigue. So if there are too many things going on that I can get into, especially if those things are only their only validation is the fact that other people are endorsing them. I get decision fatigue and having that alone time and that time to just be, or to just focus on what I want, um, really does rejuvenate me and it, and it, and it recharges my social battery. So that's the second benefit that I fully believe in. The third benefit, um, is improved creativity. And that kind of goes in line with number two, rejuvenation, because out of that rejuvenation, you find a more, um, centered and balanced sense of creativity. You're not as, uh, I hate to say influence because I think that some of the greatest artists of our time are influenced very heavily. Um, but 
you're you're able to just kind of have a balance of influence and originality um, when you carve out that alone time for yourself. So definitely improve creativity, uh, personal growth. That goes without saying. That goes in line with alignment with the rest of the ways that you can benefit from having alone time. Stress reduction is number five that I truly believe in. You know, there was a famous quote and I will link it in, in the description because I think it's worth screenshotting. Um, and I might butcher it, but it goes something like, uh, all of men's problems stem from the inability to sit alone quietly in a room. When I heard that, I was like, that is so true. It's the stimulation, it's the overstimulation that can be exciting, but can also cause stress. You know, taking a break from social interactions can help you to regulate your stress levels because um, I truly believe that it's never just one person's fault. It is a combination of action and reaction that can cause stress. Uh, so definitely number five is stress reduction. Um, number six is enhanced problem solving. I think that goes in alignment with creativity and stress reduction. And uh, number eight, oh, sorry, six, I can't count. Number seven is independence and self-reliance. And I think the word independent has been dragged through the mud. So we're just gonna say interdependency for the sake of <laughs> keeping the view balanced. Um, but yeah, you know, when you are consistent with sitting with yourself, um, you know, you sit with yourself on a regular basis, you, you carve out alone time. Sometimes some people like to call it me time, um, where you're not, you're just taking a moment to not be overstimulated. Um, you know, you tend to find out the ways in which you can trust yourself. First of all, sticking to a schedule where you have to carve out time for yourself is already a reason to trust yourself, you know, because you are communicating to your mind that, hey, I will take care of you. Hey, mind, you don't have to go on a fight or flight. I promise I will take care of you. So you're having a, a almost like a communion, a communication with yourself. Um, and that definitely creates self-reliance. So that was kind of long-winded, but I think you get the gist. You know, it's not necessary, necessary for you to spend all of your time alone. And trust me, I know how tempting it can be. I uh, personally get overstimulated sometimes with, and this is something that I didn't even grow up having. I just think the pandemic really did a number uh, on social interactions, but I get overwhelmed pretty easily. And sometimes it does feel better to just um, stay away. <laughs> but it doesn't have to be that way. As long as you are um, consistent with carving out time in your schedule, whatever you have to do, including social interactions, as long as you're carving out time to sit alone, it could even be like, okay, the five or to 10 minutes before you're about to meet with this huge group of people at the restaurant. You know, I live in New York City where it, there's the, the restaurant bar industry is thriving. And sometimes I really enjoy that moment of, okay, they're not here yet. Mm, I'm just gonna get a nice glass of wine by myself for just five minutes. You know, that kind of stuff really, does count as alone time. I don't think it has to be an hour or a day or two days, three days, you know, take as much time as you need, but just carve out some time for yourself and consistently. And I fully believe that you will see these benefits. So breathe. And I'll talk to you soon. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, and get more tips like this, like, share, and subscribe. And turn on the bell notification so that you get notified whenever I put out a new video. Also, if you like the song that's in the background, it is called I'm Okay from my latest project, Black Current. 
which is available on all streaming platforms. I love you. Have a great week. I'm okay where I'm at.